Speed down local highways and find yourself in the crosshairs of a new crackdown by the state patrol. Troopers believe if they can get drivers to slow down in well-known problem areas, fewer crashes will happen. Come up horse Ray Lane rode along for day one. One after one after another. Drivers found themselves snagged by a speeding dragnet. Snohomish County is now the test grounds for a state patrol program that targets specific areas where high speeds have caused a high number of crashes. By focusing our speed enforcement efforts on those areas, we can drive those collisions down. We can drive the injury and fatal collisions down. State Patrol says its data determines which places to stake out. A sustained presence on certain stretches of highways around Everett, Linwood, Muckleteo, Monroe, Lake Stevens, and near Snohomish. State Patrol says its troopers are telling drivers who are getting pulled over about this new program and that if they don't slow down in the future, they very well could end up with another speeding ticket. Snohomish County Sheriff's deputies and Everett police are joining troopers to clamp down on lead feet. In the first hour early this morning, troopers handed out 13 tickets, four to drivers going faster than 80, including someone caught doing 87, and another person arrested for drunk driving at 9.30 a.m. Motorcycle teams are teaming up with marked and unmarked patrol cars in this year-long test program. Drivers rushing to get places are getting caught off guard. Were you going too fast? Yes. Why? Um, well, earlier I witnessed a car accident, so I was late to work. <laughs> Still am. Troopers say they're intentionally visible with their speed guns and known trouble spots, places they'll be day after day, week after week. People will start to see us through here, the message will go out, and we'll see those speeds start to come down. It's all about changing driver behavior. And if it works in Snohomish County, State Patrol could start similar programs in other counties. In Everett, Ray Lane, Como 4 News. State Patrol says the increased enforcement against speeding will happen primarily in the morning and daylight hours.